The holidays are less than three weeks away. For some of us, they've already started. And the big thing about the holidays is that we try to think of all the things that the holidays are and the things that they are not. We do that with nutrition. We do that with fitness. We do that with, with everything, really. But here's the deal with the holidays. We think that the holidays are about losing more body fat, just getting in incredible shape. This is finally going to be the year. It's not. The holidays are not about the scale. The holidays are not about calories or macros. They're not about how many, how many calories you can burn in training sessions. Holidays are about family, about celebration, about gratitude. But if you are worried about fat loss, if you are concerned about maintaining the progress that you've worked so hard for, then it needs to be about a a few things. The first is biofeedback. And biofeedback, I've posted blogs about it and articles, but sometimes we don't know what it means. It's a big word. What it means is it's how your body feels. It's the messages and checking in with those messages that your body's sending you. How hungry are you? What are your cravings like? How are your stress levels? What's your overall mood? What's the quality of sleep? It's evaluating the messages that your body is sending you. Biofeedback has to be a huge component to the holiday season. Because if you're checking in with those things, you're going to be overall living a healthy lifestyle. You're going to be overall giving your body what it needs and it's going to come out on top in the end. Does it mean that maybe we indulge and we actually are truly hungry for certain things? Does it mean that some days sleep quality is a little bit lower so we have to catch up on an hour or two of sleep so we we sleep in and skip our workouts? That's okay. It's about doing what your body needs, listening to the signs and the signals it's giving you, responding appropriately so that you can allow it to perform optimally. The other thing that the holidays are about is habits. Creating and maintaining good habits. Now, if you've been at this, if you've been trying to lose body fat for the last few months or years or however long, you've worked to create habits. And the holidays around this time of year is when habits fall off most. We lose sight of them and we wait until the new year. We tell ourselves, oh, I'm just going to wait until January 1st. I'm just going to wait for the new year to get started. That can't be what happens. You are losing so much ground in this habit game if you wait for that, if you wait for the new year. This is about building good habits. It's about maintaining the things that you've done, putting work in each and every day to better your nutrition, to better your mental health, to better your relational health, to better your physical health. That might mean working out, that might not. But it's about following through on these things. Zoe. Now, if you want to know how to better assess biofeedback, if you want to know how to maintain or build, continue building good habits this holiday season, then check into tomorrow's holiday hack training where I'm going to go through all of my tips on how to best evaluate biofeedback, how to listen and understand what, the, what your body's telling you, And second, I'm going to go through a habit challenge that I'm running and may have an opportunity for you to hop in on if you so choose. So if you are interested in joining in this Holiday Hacks training, comment on this video that you are in or that you would like the link into the training. If you cannot make it but you still want the information, comment replay so that I can send you the replay replay once we are done tomorrow night. The replay will not be posted. It won't be sent out publicly. So if you want in, I need to know about it. Go ahead. Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow night.